Hello again, my name is David, and today here at Tectro, I'm going to go through the details of mounting hydraulic disc brakes and rotor onto the front wheel. These are the tools needed for mounting the hydraulic disc brake and rotor. Torque wrench, 5mm Allen, 4mm Allen, and T25 Torx wrench. The first step is mounting the rotor. You can clearly see the touch row and the directional arrows. It is clearly was set that there's no lettering on this side, so make sure you have the tech and the directional arrows pointing up. Carefully place the rotor. I'm going to go ahead and thread end all of the six caliper bolts using my T25 Torx. I'll thread this down each bolt to where it's not really clamping down on the caliper yet and I'll put in all six bolts before tightening any of them down any farther before using the torque torque wrench, I'm going to tighten them down just slightly using a star pattern crisscrossing across to each side and again we're just snugging down onto the caliper like so making sure you have even even torque each on, on each of the bolts and the caliper is just slightly snugged. I'll grab my torque wrench, go up to six newton meters for my final torque. Continuing using the star pattern, making sure that all the torque is brought down evenly across the, across the rotor to make sure that you have a straight and aligned rotor. Okay, let's mount the front wheel onto the suspension fork. Tighten the skewer down, making sure that you have the correct position on the skewer. And make sure that the wheel is properly seated into the fork. Let's mount the lever onto the bar. You might have to open this the bolt up a little bit to make sure it slides onto the bar. And slide it all the way in and put it flat against the shifter and snug the bolt, cinch bolt down. Now we're going to mount the caliper onto the lower fork using our 5mm Allen wrench. Make sure you pull out the pad separator. Grabbing the second bolt. Okay, that's the center and adjust the brake calipers. I'm going to pull the lever a few times just to make sure that the caliper is just has movement before I've tightened this cap before I've tightened the bolts down. Now I'm going to tighten, hold the lever down while tightening the top bolt. Loosen up and then tighten the lower bolt. Check for alignment. That worked quite well. I'm going to go ahead and snug this up a second time. Check again for alignment. 